Welcome back to Bioshock Infinite. And why would you want to? Shut up. Shut up. Uh, God damn it. Yeah, we don't have to hear what he has to say at this point. I'm pretty sure we've already heard it. We still have some things in our way. Uh, we can move that. You want to ask me, ask me. About what? My finger. Uh, sorry, I didn't... It's all right. It's as much a mystery to me as anyone else. Maybe Songbird knows, but he's not talking. I'm, I'm sorry. What for? I get to wear this stylish thimble to cover up my hideous deformity. I hear they're all the rage in Paris. I don't think that's a fashion statement in Paris. I think you might be mistaken. <laughs> Counter her sarcasm with my own. Da 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 da. Elizabeth? Anyway, let's take cover and then shoot everyone and again ignore the cover. I am very smart at video games. Time to die. My aim is not the best for these. There we go. That's better. That is the one disadvantage of the volley gun, as cool as it is. As we get these salts, you might notice the birds are still attacking because we have our little crows traps that create more crows traps. So he got crows trapped. Kaka! And they're all dead. Okay. Thanks, I never would have realized. <laughs> I thought you would have been in outer space! Anyway, we've done enough with the volley gun. Let's get a good old rocket launcher. Go ahead. Uh, Elizabeth? Elizabeth, you're floating! You're floating! You're floating! Oh, never, never mind. <laughs> what, a, what a weird glitch. She just floated in the air. I didn't know she could do that. Magical levitating ability. <laughs> More ammo for that gun I just got rid of. I love how he just says caterpillar. I know that's talking about something, but I like to imagine he just says caterpillar for no reason. Like, that's an amazing idea for an insult. Or he just says it for no reason. Hey, hey, Bill. Wouldn't it be funny if we had these machines call our... call the people around here, uh, caterpillars for no reason? Jam... Jam... You have weird ideas for how to market these things. Too late, I already put it in. Nothing you can do to stop it now. And then he turned out to be a caterpillar. Just, he just wanted, he wanted to, you know, he wanted everyone else to know about the caterpillars. They're gonna take over everything. Mm. I have no idea what I just said. Nonsense.
So now we're making our way down to Shantytown. Because as we all know, everyone lives equally in a fictional utopia. You must think me some sort of... freak. A girl who can bring dead men back to life. Whose only acquaintance is a... a giant bird creature. I must seem ridiculous. You just got dealt a bad hand. I am not going back to that tower, no matter what happens. They won't stop until they have you. Why? What did I do to them? You frightened them. Good. I like that attitude. Good. This is what they want, brothers. To keep you so hungry, you can't speak but to me. To keep you so ignorant, you can't think of solutions to all your problems. To keep you chasing that almighty silver eagle so you can buy everything they're selling to keep you down, brothers. But Daisy Fitzroy says there's another way. Another way coming real soon. People are like this because of Fink. Maybe Daisy's right. Maybe she should pay him back for all of this. Not before she pays us. We're here for guns and then the airship. Uh, I, I, this is one of those things where I don't think commentary. I guess we could head straight for the police station. Or see what's in that bar. What do you think? Yeah, there's no commentary that I can do that the game itself doesn't do better, <laughs> you know? Man, that's... that it's that sign especially. Don't go past that one guy, because then you'll... They'll attack you, because they're hiding, like, some sort of item over there. We can get it later, but for now... So we're gonna go down here. What's going on? Hey, uh, what are you hmm. doing? Stop, come on, dude. Why'd you shoot me? Don't do that. Not a good idea. We're special edition in this because you shot first. Don't do that. Anyway, see if we can enter this bar. <laughs> what are you? What are you up to? Oh. Yeah, he doesn't want you behind the bar. That's a fucking great... <laughs> I love having that sort of old-timey version of 80 synth pop. Now that's... that's awesome. How do you stand that? It smells revolting. Don't worry, Elizabeth. It's a video game. In a few seconds or so, I'll arbitrarily be okay again.
I don't get how it works either, but let's have some fun while we're video game drunk. We. Nothing we can release from those machines, so maybe go down to the attic. The wine cellar. Well, Elizabeth, today's your lucky day. Because guess who can play? Got some keys to find a box to unlock. <laughs> yeah, uh, on one end I do like the, the that little sequence of just singing, because just because it's just so unexpected and out of place, I kind of like it. But at the same time, by God, is that awkward? <laughs> like it lasts for like what, like twenty seconds or so, thirty seconds. Like that's it. That's it. Also, why didn't that kid grab the apple himself? It was right there. See this? I don't really get it. You know? When you force deep underground, well, you see things from the bottom up. And down at the bottom of the city, I saw a fire burning. A fire's got heat of plenty, but it ain't got no mouth. Daisy. Now she got herself a mouth big enough for all the fires in Columbia. Guess she does if she has people behind her. Although I'm not sure why Daisy needs to speak in the third person. Oh, that was just a little side thing to do. Real destination is down this way. Come on, come on! Hurry up! Hit it! Hit it harder! Hit it harder! Barely making a goddamn dent! I'm hungry! There's a tear over there. Guess we do could it. do something nice. That. And we also get some money for ourselves. At least we got him plenty to eat. Via basically magic. that noise.
Yeah, those Vox sympathizers making food. How dare they? Like, that's just dickish. <laughs> like, wow. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I, I honestly think I'd prefer the Nitro Vest. Uh, well, now's a good time to kill people. Let's -a go. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of enemies around this area. But we need to actually get to them, so... Let's make our way over on this thing. It's this guy, first of all. Sec oh god! So now we see the big problem this area. Right in front of the police station, or whatever, uh, these two giant rocket turret things gonna be in our way. See if they have giant huff bars above them. Extremely explosive. Why would they deal with enemies? We specifically have to deal with that. Turrets are not too powerful against them, but are good distraction at least. Now there are a few main areas, this is one of them to the west, uh, not a lot here. Do it! So yeah, ideally we're going to go back and forth between some of these main areas. I mean, we could just save one area and hide while the enemies come for us, but that would be boring. Oh, it's just Elizabeth. Okay. Bye! There's a bunch of different items and healing things and whatever you want around here. So 
some enemies that appear on that area. And also some near the entrance. I'm just trying to show off as many parts of this area as I can during this fight. But there are other more, uh, you know, there are other ways that are probably make the fight either quicker, answless, or easier. Turret down here, we're gonna get rid of that. Because we don't need a normal turret on all of these giant ones. Yes, I thank you for telling me that a shotgun is only effective at close range and never would have guessed. Oh god, god, get out of here. Nope. Get out of the thing. Thank you. This is usually where I like to stay. Because it's the highest uh, area. It can't get conf a bit confusing to remember which one of these, uh, <laughs> you can knock them off from the thing by pressing A when you're near the enemy. Uh, also, it can be hard to, a bit hard to remember which one of these goes to the top floor, which one doesn't. Because that other uh, skyline takes you to a little uh, different area Open right it. below here. Activate the mosquito again. It can help us a bit. There we go. But not much. The fight would be way too easy to go. So instead... Do another one of these guys. I wanted to focus and take out the normal people, but they just keep coming. At some point it starts to get ridiculous, so let's just blow up one of these things once and for all. Shoot a rocket, get into cover, repeat until it's destroyed. It's probably the quickest way to deal with them, honestly. There's still enemies up there. What do I want to do next? Uh... Guess we're gonna keep dealing with these guys. Can we get up there though? That's the real question. Right now it doesn't seem to be, but found a skyline attack thing right around here. So there we go. Let's get on there. Destroy these guys. There we go, he's dead. Maybe we can kill this guy too. Explode him. Use the crows to kill them all while they're distracted. There we go. God, we have a ton of guys, that's great. We've done a great job here. And oh god, what? What? Um... Where did everything go? Where are we? What is going on? Um... We're back, I think! Oh my god, <laughs> that was, um, that was something. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> now that was a pretty crazy glitch. So before anything that crazy happens again, let's go with the other one of these things already. Probably maybe easier to just get close to it right here. Come on, reload. And attack! Okay. Then we can search for the tools, but unfortunately there's still some tools we have to kill. Haha. -ha. <laughs> Did you say what oh. 
<laughs> I love. I didn't even notice the just flying in the background to get on the sky rail. It looked ridiculous, and I got knocked down. Yeah. Look, I don't want to deal with any more you guys already. This is getting a bit silly. Just die. Salt. The Lord judges I act. Okay, after all this, I uh, kind of want to get rid of that Patriot. Open it. The rocket turret should help. All I really want is to just strike it myself. Not the smartest plan, but screw it. Come on, combine it again, and yeah, they aren't so tough. If they have backup and good weapons and good strategy. No, that, that's finally all the enemies, I think. But there is actually something, somewhat important that we missed right up here. Now that everyone's gone, let's check this disturbing area out. Well, Fitzroy. You... You got a little cunning in you, if nothing else. Dropped a couple grizzly traps around the lines up here. Idea was to to bleed one of your couriers till he gave you up. Except of course you're using kids now. Now I got this tiny engine boy eyeballing me. Tried to take his leg off. Damn things just lying here between us. I sure wish he'd cry or something. All that wackiness and glitch and fighting got just ruined by that message. Jesus Christ. Well, after all that, I just get through here. All done. So now that we're here, we're going to have to look for those weapons and see if we can find them. See you next time.